this is Larissa with Vicozy.net and today uh, I will show you how to hand knit cable knit blanket. Uh, a lot of you were sending requests and asking to show how to do it and uh, today is the day. So we will be making this gorgeous cable knit blanket. I will be using a pink powder color. This is a new color in our store. You can find it at becozy.net. This blanket will be a 35 by 60 size. So I just want to show you the whole blanket, sort of. So this is the blanket cable knit. And this is the blanket that you can make to following uh, my video. You will need six pounds to make such blanket. So this is a little bit advanced uh, knitting, hand knitting, but it's still pretty doable. If you were following my videos and uh, already made the hand knitted blanket, this will be pretty easy to do. If you have any questions, please feel free to write underneath this video. And again, six pounds of super chunky merino wool. You can find it at becausey.net. And uh, let's get started. Okay guys, let's get started. So you will need six pounds of super chunky merino wool. We have this beautiful pink powder, super chunky merino wool, six pounds. And before we'll start casting on, we will need to do some measurements for cable knitting. So what you will need to do for, uh, we will be making blanket 35 by 60 medium throw. What we will need to do, we need to, uh, we need to calculate how many stitches to cast on. Th 35 uh, divided by 2.5, uh, it's 14. You always divide the lengths of, the width, uh, I'm sorry, of your blanket by 2.5 to find how many uh, stitches to cast on. So we got 14 stitches. And here you have a little drawing that I made for you. This is what I'm, I'm making for myself when I'm making cable knits. And uh, this zeros uh, mean knitting stitches. And this uh, little hoops, uh, vertical hoops, those mean uh, uh, purling. So you can see that we will need to have some purling and some needing stitches. So we will start looking at this uh, little drawing. <clears throat> First of all, we need to cast on 14 stitches and usual way we're doing it uh, as I was showing many times before in my videos. So this is the tail working yarn on the right. Make a loop, insert your hand inside the loop, grab working yarn and pull it out. You can make it bigger or smaller and I would suggest to keep it about 2.53 inches. Insert your left hand, grab working yarn, pull it out, make second stitch two. Insert hand, grab working yarn, pull it out, three and keep doing uh, stitches keep making stitches like that uh, casting on until you have a chain of 14 because we're making 35 uh, by 60 blanket one two three four uh, this will be a medium size throw which is enough to cover a medium-sized person sitting on the sofa watching a movie from the toes up to the neck area. Uh, it's also enough to put on the foot area of a, a double bed or full bed or even a queen bed, but only to the foot area and Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. So we have 14. Now, what are we doing now? The first row, we are just knitting all uh, stitches. This is our first stitch. To make the next one, find this knot between top 
and down of your stitch. Lift it, put your hand inside it, grab walking yarn and pull it out. This is your first stitch, actually second but first needed stitch on the first row. Now we will be doing the same to all these little knots in the middle. You lift the knot, go underneath, grab walking yarn, pull it out. <laughs> Next knot and out. Next knot underneath, grab working yarn, pull it out. The reason we're using these knots, not the top of the stitch or the bottom of the stitch, because this way we will have a beautiful chain on the bottom of our blanket. Here, you can see it already. It's a beautiful chain. So keep working this way. until you go through all stitches and then we will start our pattern. So make sure that the first row is just needed stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one more. <clears throat> and be uh, uh, very careful with the last stitch, don't miss it because it's kind of uh, hard to lift but it's still here and you need 14. Make sure that you have 14 because that's what we need for this blanket, 14 stitches. So now the next row, second row, after casting on, we will start our pattern. So we will start our first row looking at this drawing, this drawing showing which stitch to make. So the first one is showing the knit stitch. The knit stitch is simple. Uh, insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull it out. The next one on the drawing is purl. So for purling, the working yarn goes on the top of the knitting, not on the back of it. And then you basically push it inside the next stitch like that. And you can see the difference right away. This is knitted stitch, this is purled, and purled one has this little knot on the top. Now on this uh, drawing we have next stitch, which is knitting, and then two purl. And purl the same as we just did uh, the previous one. Insert, uh, working yarn on the front, insert it inside the stitch and pull it out. Do the same to the next one, insert it inside, pull it out. Now we will need to have four needed stitches. And working yarn goes on the back, insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull it out. And now three more like that. Your hand grabbing working yarn and pull it through the stitch. And this way we have four knitted stitches. Sometimes you can see this little uh, discoloration on the merino wool. Just uh, pinch it and take it out. It's absolutely fine. It will not ruin the wool. So the next one on the drawing are uh, two purled. So uh, grab walking yarn, grab it, pull it in front, and then push it inside the next stitch and pull it out. And another one the same. Now we need one knitted, now need one purled, and the last one will be one knitted too. So here we have 14 stitches, and we have beginning of the beautiful cable blanket. Now, uh, because uh, this is a, a really a good quality of uh, hand knitting, you don't need to uh, turn the, the knitting project to another side, we're just going to knit from right to left. And now it will be easier to knit, you will not need this drawing anymore basically, because now you will just need to look how your stitches look like. Just pay really good attention. The one that goes like a, uh, looks like a chain, those are knitted one. The one that has a knot in front, those are purled ones. And we will be do we will be knitting the same stitches as we have 
for six rows. So this one was the first one, six more, so seven all together. And as usual, the first stitch we are skipping. I'm skipping first stitch in all of my knittings. And then you can see that this is a purled stitch because it has this knot. It means that we need to purl, to purl another stitch in this row too. Here you can see that this one is looking like a chain. It needs to be knitted. Next two are uh, two that need to be purled because they have this little knot. And if it's easier for you, you can still have this drawing in front of you and keep following it. But I would still suggest to look because sometimes you can uh, skip uh, looking on the knitting project and make a mistake. Uh, the knitting project will show you what stitch to make. Now we can see four stitches needed. So we are making four stitches that are needed. The next stitch is purled, actually two, you can see it, there's two knots up front, and we are purling two stitches. And here we have another knitted, another purl, and the last one is knitted. Here we are, we have three rows already, you can see how beautiful it looks. Now we will keep uh, knitting for five more rows because we will need seven all together before we will actually make a cable. So keep knitting this way for seven rows total and then we'll come back and I will show you how to do the cable. Okay, so we have seven rows done. It's uh, easy to calculate how many rows you have by these little knots in the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven rows. And now we will start the row where the cable will be, will be made. So the whole row will be done the same. We're skipping the first stitch. The second one is the purled one. And then knitted, two purled. And the, where we reach this uh, four stitches area, that's where cable will be done. So uh, the working yarn goes on the back. What you are doing now? K take these two stitches, put them in front, and knit the uh, next two stitches. So just attach them to this working yarn like that. Let me show you again. So this is working yarn. It goes from these two purled ones and we have two kneaded one. You separate them basically. The first two put them on front. You don't need them at this moment. Then we will be knitting this two with this working yarn. Insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull it out. Insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull it out. Now we will need to knit these two stitches. So what you do, you are twisting it like that. See? So this is two that you knitted already. This that uh, this two that you need to knit. And they go on the top of those that have been knitted and insert your hand in the left one. Grab working yarn, pull it out. And now the second one Insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull it out. So this way, you basically just did crisscross with your knitting, and this will make this uh, cable look uh, on the blanket. So now just keep uh, knitting the next stitches the same way as you knitted before. This is uh, two purled, one uh, knitted, one purled, uh, just look at the stitches. Stitches shows you what stitch needs to be knitted first. This is the uh, knitted one and then purled because of the knot and the last one knitted. So next row you are just knitting 
as uh, stitches shows you the needed uh, stitches should be needed and the purled one should be purled and this way you need to knit again for seven rows and then when you have seven rows then you will make another cable so let me show you how to knit this crease cross so you can see that uh, it's laying crossed so you for you uh, needed this first two and then those insert your hand grab walking you and pull it out this two and then this two this way you just made this beautiful crisscross knitting and now we have two purled ones so we are purling two stitches next chain so it's Knitted, purled, and knit. Again, so make another seven rows and then come back and I will show you how to make another one. It's basically the same, but I will show you again. Okay, guys, so we had seven more rows done. And now the next row we will be making the cable again so here the start of the row number eight will be the same uh, until we reach those four stitches in the middle that will need to be crisscrossed and we'll do it the same way so here's four stitches two goes like that and we'll be using this two first this is our working yarn insert your hand grab working yarn pull it out and the same with the second and now do the same with this two you're pulling them back and then this the one on the left goes first grab working yarn and pull it through and then the second one so here we did it again the cable so if you notice that uh, uh, because you are you uh, needing the same uh, amount of stitches before doing crisscross it's seven uh, we are doing it all the time from the left side so I would keep it this way because if you do it from uh, two different sides it would be a little bit confusing so anyway for the blanket 35 by 60 you will need to need at least 25 rows and it could be a little bit more if you uh, rows more or if you uh, uh, less because it depends on how big your stitches will be. My stitches are usually about three inches each and that's what I'm suggesting you to do and this way you will need 25 rows. So let's need 25 rows every seven rows uh, after seven rows the eighth row you are making crisscross from the four stitches and up front otherwise you're just knitting how stitches are showing you the ones that are purled you're purling the one that are knitted you are knitting so anyway 25 rows and I will be back showing you what we will do for casting off okay guys we have uh, 25 rows and it's 60 inches and uh, we will cast off uh, people are asking me how to know how much yarn uh, to leave for casting off uh, it's very easy uh, to measure uh, measure from the first row and your working yarn all the way to another side and back that will be enough for you to cast off the length of your blanket so casting off uh, working yarn goes on the back grab two stitches together insert working yarn inside or grab working yarn pull it out keep this one stitch that you have on your hand add another one two stitches grab working yarn pull through two stitches you have one then add another one and pull the working yarn through two stitches get one and this way we will need to work through all stitches 
have one on the hand, add another one, grab working yarn, pull it through, and keep working this way until you go through all stitches and from two stitches creating one and then go all the way to the last stitch until you have just one left okay here three make sure you need all the stitches because if you forget one then you will need to unwind the last row and do it again so here you can see we have this beautiful chain cast off we have one stitch left and what you do you will need to cut off or if it's the end of your working yarn just insert it inside this last stitch pull it out I will not be cutting it because I will be using it and then uh, you have this tail which you will need to weave in or to just hide on the back it's uh, pretty easy you just find any stitches and hide it on the back like that so it's up to you how to hide it here a beautiful blanket is done 35 by 60 cable knit you can find a uh, super chunky mirror for such blanket at becozy.net and uh, subscribe for our channel to watch more videos. We're posting new videos every Friday or every other Friday with new patterns that you cannot find anywhere on YouTube. We are the one and only who created the hand knitting way, uh, knitting with super chunky merino wool. Stay warm and be cozy.